Tired of your clothes not drying during the monsoon or your balcony looking like a laundry display? An appliance that dries your clothes 100% is what you need. First, let's decide whether a standalone dryer or a washer dryer combo is right for you. Jump to the timestamp on the screen or the links in the description if you only need the recommendations. Standalone dryers are separate appliances for drying only and washer dryer combos are two-in-one appliances that do both washing and drying together. Compared to washer dryer combos, standalone dryers offer slightly better performance using less power, less time, typically two to two and a half hours per cycle only compared to five to seven hours per cycle in a combo, manage lint and shrinkages slightly better than washer dryers as well. So if you have the space and the budget for it, I highly recommend you to go for standalone dryers. But if you don't have the space or the budget, a washer dryer combo is a great alternative. I've been using a washer dryer combo for over four years now and I'm extremely happy with it. Now, if you're new to dryers, both standalone and washer dryers, you need to keep a few things in mind and reset your expectations. One, fully cotton clothes might crease more or shrink, but mixed fabrics fare better in a dryer. Two, due to the use of heat, dark clothes, especially cotton clothes, may fade. Make sure you read the wash labels of your clothes for guidance before using it in the dryer. This symbol on the screen means no tumble dry or cannot be used in the dryer. Personally, I do not use the dryer option on dark clothes and fully cotton clothes that are used outdoors just to ensure the longevity of the clothes. Alright, now that we understand which type of appliance is right for what conditions, let's start with identifying the best washer dryer combo followed by the best standalone dryers. Jump to the right section from the timestamps or links are in the description. Let's decide the right washer dryer capacity that you need to buy. In washer dryer, there are two capacities to consider, the wash capacity and the dry capacity. The drying capacity is always less than the washing capacity. For adequate drying, make sure you do not load the machine more than 50 to 75%. More often than not, if you hear someone complaining of not adequate drying in a washer dryer, overloading is the main reason. Now, since drying capacity is the limitation, if you plan to use 100% drying all the time, like me, then make sure you select a washer dryer with adequate drying capacity. For example, for a family of 3 to 4 people, select a washer dryer with drying capacity of at least 6 kg or 7 kg. Also, since the drying capacity is the limitation, ensure that there is a minimum difference between the washing and the drying capacity. For example, an 8-6 washer dryer is better than an 8-5, a 9-7 washer dryer is better than a 9-6 or a 9-5 washer dryer and so on. Amongst the washer dryers compared, IFB, some models of Bosch, Siemens and Samsung have the best wash to dry ratio while LG 9.5 and Bosch 10.5.6 have the least. The next thing to consider is the RPM which determines the drying efficiency. Higher RPM means better drying but also more creasing. Most washer dryers have a max RPM of 1400 except for Electrolux which has a 1200 RPM. However, since these are washer dryers, lower RPMs are still okay as you will get full drying anyway. Remember, you can adjust the RPM to be lower, which is especially useful when washing delicate clothes. Cycle times range between 5 to 8 hours for cotton and mixed loads, but most washer dryers adjust the time based on the load size. I usually set mine at night and it's ready by morning. To minimize creasing, remove your clothes right after the cycle ends. Now don't stress too much about the number of programs. Most of us only use 3 to 5 programs regularly. However, if you do like options, all washer dryers offer between 12 and 25 programs. LG even lets you download extra programs. All machines have inverter motors, but not all list their energy efficiency ratings, which is surprising to me as it is not mandatory, given that these machines are power guzzlers. Most allow you to add clothes early in the cycle, typically before the drum fills. If you want smart features, Samsung, Hire, IFB and LG offer mobile apps for managing cycles, viewing analytics, sometimes checking on the electricity consumption too. A nice to have but not essential. People often ask me about the water and power consumption. I have made a separate video on this which I have linked in the description. Washer dryers typically use about 60 litres of water similar to front load washers. Electricity used for a full wash and dry cycle is 7 to 12 units depending on the machine size and the cycle type. Washer dryers are generally more expensive than regular front load washing machines. Media offers the cheapest options but with the least warranty. Two years on the product with no extra warranty on the motor. Most brands offer a two year warranty on the product and 10 years on the motor. Except for IFB which offers four years on the product with 10 years on the motor and parts. Samsung offers additional 20 years on the motor. And Hire gives five years on the product with 20 years on the motor. 
Now that we understand the key capabilities to look for when selecting the best washer dryer, let's get to my recommendations. For a family of up to 3 to 4 people, I have two recommendations for you. My first recommendation is the Bosch CD496 washer dryer. Siemens also has a similar model, the IQ500. But now since Bosch and Siemens are both manufactured and serviced by the same entity, I am recommending the Bosch model that gives you better value for money. With 15 wash programs and a 1400 RPM 5 star inverter motor, this washer dryer is able to achieve cupboard dry in about 4 to 5 hours of runtime. Of course, based on the load and type of fabric. My next recommendation is the only budget washer dryer available. The media washer dryer with 8 kg wash capacity and 5 kg dry capacity. It has 15 wash programs good enough for most of us. With a 5 star 1400 RPM motor, this washer dryer gives the best value. But remember, there have been issues with serviceability of media. So check for serviceability in your area before purchasing. For 4 people or more or you tend to wash your clothes less frequently and hence need a larger capacity, I have two recommendations for you. My first recommendation is the higher washer dryer with a 10.5 kg washing capacity and 7 kg drying capacity. Higher washer dryer has one of the largest drum sizes of 525 mm and uses direct drive technology to connect the motor and drum to reduce noise and increase longevity of the motor. With smart home capabilities as well as 5 year warranty on the product with 20 years on the motor, higher gives the best value amongst washer dryers. My next recommendation is the LG washer dryer with a 11 kg wash capacity and a 7 kg dry capacity, ideal for large families. LG also uses the direct drive technology and is able to detect the weight and softness of the fabric and choose the optimal wash pattern for that load. LG comes with smart home capabilities that allow you to control and monitor the washer dryer from anywhere. This year Samsung does not feature in my top recommendations for washer dryers. While the Samsung washer dryer offers equivalent capabilities as both the higher and LG, the current price point does not offer any additional value. Now let's discuss standalone dryers. There are three main types of standalone dryers. Vented dryers, condenser based dryers and heat pump based dryers. Your choice will depend on the type of usage, where you will place the dryer, types of clothes and budget. Vented dryers are the cheapest option but also the most power hungry. They need to be placed outdoors like a balcony or have a vent like a chimney vent to release moisture. Condenser dryers are the most popular these days. They can be placed indoors since they collect moisture in a container that you can empty or you can connect it to an outlet pipe. As they use high temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius, the dryer can heat up and needs good ventilation. Heat pump based dryers are the best option. They use lower temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius, making them gentler on the clothes and more energy efficient. They can be placed indoors. Similar to condenser dryers, they also collect moisture in a container or can be connected to an outlet pipe. So in summary, if you want the best option for your clothes, then consider investing in a heat pump based dryer. A condenser dryer is the next best option followed by a vented dryer. If you have limited ventilation indoors, a heat pump based dryer is ideal. Condenser dryers can work but might heat up and leave moisture in the room without ventilation. Amongst the brands compared, IFB and Electrolux are vented dryers, Bosch and Siemens are condenser dryers and LG and Samsung are heat pump based dryers. Now let's talk about the size. On the screen, you can see different dryer sizes and how many clothes they can handle. It is important to pick a size that fits your need. If you go too small, you might save on upfront cost but end up running it more often. If you go too large, you'll pay more on upfront cost and per run as well. For families of 3 to 4, 5.5 to 8 kg dryers of IFB, Electrolux, Bosch and Siemens are great. For larger families, 8 to 9 kg dryers of LG, Samsung, Bosch and Siemens are ideal. Now, if you're short on space, one cool thing about standalone dryers is that you can stack them on top of your washing machine. All models support this and you can even mount them upside down for easier access to the controls. Standalone dryers also offer a 100% cupboard dry option, meaning you can fold and store your clothes right away. Condenser dryers like Bosch and Siemens are the quickest, while heat pump based dryers like LG and Samsung take upwards of 120 minutes as they use lower temperature for drying. Vented dryers from IFB take the longest time at around 160 minutes. All standalone dryers have anti-wrinkle option though in comparison to air drying, clothes will be more wrinkled. However, it is better than what you get from washer dryers. Program options range from 6 to 15 allowing you to choose based on the type of fabric. Bosch and Siemens offer the most programs if that is more important to you. Price wise, heat pump based dryers are the most expensive as they are gentler on your clothes. 
LG and Samsung models are heat pump based dryers and cost upwards of 65,000. Vented dryers are the cheapest but do require additional installation for the vents. Condenser dryers are therefore a sweet spot between vented and heat pump based dryers. Warranty in general is 2 years with additional warranty on the motor. IFB offers the best warranty. 4 years on the product with 10 years on the motor while Bosch and Siemens offer 2 year warranty on both the product and the motor. And their condenser dryers are similar and serviced by the same network. Now that we understand the key capabilities to look for when selecting the best washer dryer, let's get to my recommendations. My top recommendation is the LG heat pump based standalone dryer. Like mentioned before, heat pump based dryers use lower temperature thereby being more gentle on the clothes, reducing shrinkages and creasing of your clothes. Lint is a common problem with dryers. The LG dryer air filter has two separate sections to capture lint from your clothes. The doors also can be connected on either side to easily support the layout of your laundry area. It also has smart capabilities that allow you to operate and manage the dryer using the app. Overall, the best standalone dryer. My next recommendation is the Bosch condenser dryer. Siemens also has a similar model, but now since Bosch and Siemens are manufactured and serviced by the same entity, I'm recommending the Bosch model that gives better value for your money. This is a 9 kg dryer, but it's also available in 8 kgs for smaller families. Bosch, however, gives the least warranty amongst dryers with only two additional years on the motor. My last recommendation is one that you can select if you're on a tight budget the IFB Turbo Dry. Priced at around 19,500, it offers the best warranty. 4 years on the product with 10 years on motor and spare parts. It does take longer to dry than heat pump or condenser dryers. 160 minutes for cotton dry. Just keep in mind, this is a vented dryer, so you'll need to place it outdoors or connect it to an exhaust vent, like a chimney. If you found this video useful, share this video and subscribe to become part of the 75,000 plus community that trusts us with their decision making. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.